Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. So today we're taking a look at another Gundam Age model kit, and this time it is going to be on the Mega Size Age 1 Normal. Now this entire month we've been doing a bunch of Gundam Age 1 Normals, and of course I have to throw this one into the mix because it is the Mega Size, and I really wanted to get this into my collection, but not just get it into the collection, I want to paint it. However, I'm just really backlogged when it comes to paint it builds, so this one's going to have to go into the paint it builds backlog section of my closet, which is really unfortunate, but it is going to look good once I get around to it. So for the time being, I want to show all you guys and gals how it looks straight out of the box. Now another key note to make is that this I did not build. I bought this as a pre-built model kit over at Book Off. It is missing a couple accessories such as one beam saber effect part and both of the beam dagger effect parts. It sucks and I really hate the fact that I just don't have that in my arsenal, but I'm looking forward to in the future maybe coming across a brand new in box Gundam Age 1 normal uh, mega size. So I would just paint another one to be honest. This one, I don't know what I'm gonna do with. I'm probably just gonna paint it up uh, normal colors or I'm gonna I'm a mute some of the colors because I think maybe having it too vibrant in contrast with the, uh, the MG as well as the HD I'm painting, maybe I could do something different. So more or less, maybe mute the colors altogether. And this video is sponsored by New Type. If you want to get some model kits for your own, especially some Gundam Age model kits, check out their site and see what they have. Now, I know a lot of people are probably going to point out that this looks a lot like the Master Grade. That's a yes and a no. What actually happened is the design, the original design of this thing, has a detailed up version before the model kits came out. And in the detailed up version, those vents on like the arms and legs and everything, that's already implemented. And if you look at episode one of Gundam Age, you do see that the Gundam has those like little vents on the arms. So it's not necessarily that this is copying the Master Grade. It's just, it's just that it's staying faithful to the actual illustration Art, which I really do like. Grow. Oh no, Steve, not this review. You can interrupt any other review, but why this one? I don't like how you're talking so goddamn highly about that mega size. You never once, never once talked that highly about me. Steve, look, man, I, I appreciate everything about you, but you gotta give the 15 minutes to something else. Your time has came and gone, buddy. It's been about 10 years. It's Time to move on. Fine, Crow. Have, have your age. I'll have my time. You'll see. I'll have a goddamn year of RX-78-2. But Steve, why go for a whole year? Honestly, if I was going to do anything, I would do an entire month of RX-78. You do that for me, Crow? Of course, Steve. How about this? February, it's your month. But I can't neglect age. It's just a big part of this year. So... How about we have both a Gundam Age month and we're going to have an RX-78 month? I mean, how does that sound to you? God damn it, Crow, I'm touched. For once in your entire life, you thought of me. And that, I won't forget. Steve, it's always been you. But I hope you enjoy your month. God damn it, Crow, I will. And I hope you at home enjoy this Gundam Age review. Now for gimmicks, this thing just really has one gimmick, and it's a good one. It is the LED unit that comes with it. You basically get two LR41 batteries, and you plug it right into the backpack. You turn the thruster, and it's going to illuminate the chest and the head. So having that age system all lit up is going to look so, so good. I cannot wait to get this thing painted, and with that light-up set, it's going to look so good on the shelf. It is basically going to be Christmas every day in my Gundam room. Now, aside from that, we're really not getting any other gimmicks. Let's just roll straight into the articulation. Bottom line is, this is very minimum. It is actually worse in terms of articulation than the high grade. At least the high grade has good points of articulation in the legs and can do lots of other dynamic stuff with like the ankles. This in particular has nothing really much going for it. It does a lot of 90 degree bends, but it's really just a big bulky hollowed out like in between advanced grade and high grade. And 
I really don't hate that because at least I get the light up unit. Otherwise, it's just going to look good in probably a standing pose. I don't see you pulling off a lot of dynamic stuff unless you're just going to be able to get a good stand and you probably just do some modifications to the joints. But otherwise, it's just a really good looking standing unit. Now, in terms of accessories, you are going to get two trigger hands and you're going to get two fists. And it's also going to come with a water slide decal sheet, which I'm extremely thankful for because when I do paint it up, I can just go ahead and slap them right on. Now for weapons, it is going to have the Dodge rifle and the Dodge rifle itself is going to have a little bit of articulation in the front so you can kind of turn that and you can pull out the handle so it can hold it and pull off some you know nice little shooting poses. It's also going to come with the shield. And you have the beam saber hilts on the side skirts, so you can pull them out, plug them right into the hand, and plug in the beam saber effect part. Now for comparisons, this is a 1 in 48 scale model kit, so compared to other like high grades and master grades, it is going to be a big boy. Well, we've already reached the final thought segment. Honestly, I love this kit, and I really have to just immediately tell you guys to cop it as soon as you can. Now, there's always that little asterisk. It's like, it, you cop it only if the price allows. I would say if you find this for anything under under like $100, it's immediate buy. If it's over $100, yeah, probably wait on the price going down. Don't expect at all for this to get a re-release. I just don't see it happening. Like you could possibly potentially get one in the future, but how far in the future? That's the big question. Really, just be satisfied on getting one that's uh, used, like I did. That cost like thirty bucks and paint it up, detail it, all that good stuff. Or if you're gonna find it brand new, you're gonna have to just really hunt. I've been hunting the Yahoo auctions, and I managed to get one for about fifty bucks on Yahoo auctions, but. For whatever reason, they canceled on me, and I really hated that. So finding a, a, a new one without someone just canceling your order immediately, um, it's going to be a little bit hard, but I did find one for uh, under $50, and I think I found another one for around 80 or 90 bucks. but I'm really uh, I'm a cheapskate, and I figured I already have one, so I'm going to wait around for one that's probably going to be under 60 uh, but if you do find it for under 100, I'm telling you guys, you need to get this model, and I would encourage you to go ahead and paint it up. Otherwise, I think just slapping some uh, you know decals on it, doing some panel lining, that's good enough. But that's all for me, guys. So thank you to all the members, thank you to all the viewers and the subscribers of the channel. Honestly, I cannot be doing this without all your support. So every time you leave a like or subscribe, it definitely helps tremendously. But other than that, I'll be seeing you in the next Gundam Age review. Bye-bye.